Probably like the most. No, I don't know. <laughs> There's like stuff that I'm not gonna share. Um. If anyone has any good show recommendations, what hair products do you use in your hair? So pretty. Thank you. But it's, it, I have extensions, first of all, so it's not all real. Um, but I use Pureology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I use a heat protectant, literally any heat protectant. I have like the worst one right now. I wouldn't even recommend it. And then this is my hair oil. I always put hair oil in my hair always blow dry my hair after I shed, like wash it um but I use I think it's it's one of the redken oils it's like one of the top I don't know one of the most common ones by redken I use body wash oh, okay yeah no love you that you're rocking the thin brows do they okay do they actually look thinner because this was me making them thicker today I have no eyebrows. I shaved them off. What's been the highlight? I'm trying to read your question. What has been the highlight of the last two weeks? Something you're excited about? Um, I guess when... Um, oh, I bought myself a phone. That was exciting. I bought myself a phone like two, three days ago. Thank you. I just chopped my hair and now one extensions do you recommend? Okay, so... I have had like every type of extension in my head. I have clip-ins in right now, just ones that I put in whenever I want to because I feel like it helps with my actual hair and you can actually wash your hair instead of like having the wefts in your hair. But Bellamy, I feel like has the best clip-ins or just extensions in general. But I would get Bellamy extensions if you're looking at them. Thank you for, I don't even know what's called, the hand heart? Highlighter or blush? I don't know. I don't really wear it either. Actually, that's a lie. I do wear blush, but I like wipe it off when I'm doing it. I'll show you guys. Okay. This is my blush brush. It's also my brush for literally everything. I was a finger heart. How was karaoke? It was um, interesting. <laughs> it was not what I was expecting. Um, this is the blush I use. It went viral on TikTok, so kind of just a follower. Um, yeah, but um, I posted it on my Snapchat story and everything. It was very interesting. Like, it wasn't like normal karaoke where you go into like a room. It was your first... Remember your first crush boyfriend? How long did it? Do you remember most about your first crush? Not really. I never like, I don't know. I appreciate you asking questions. I'm just literally like, I'm so bad at remembering and answering questions. No, I don't have a Twitter or anything like that. I know there's some fake ones with my name, but I don't have a Twitter or anything. Um, but my Instagram is the same as my TikTok username. What's my biggest deal breaker? If you cheat and lie. Um, where was your first date? Oh my gosh. Well, I went through a phase, not a phase, it's still, I hate first dates, like, I hate, like, first dates, like, going out somewhere, because I think it's so not casual, it's awkward, we don't know each other, we just sit there and eat across each other, don't like it, so I'm trying to remember, like, my first, I think my first boyfriend ever, I don't think I ever went on, like, an actual date with him, second guy, like, I almost dated, we didn't really, I guess, like, I'd count, like, my Valentine's Day with the second guy I talked to, he like rented out a Ferrari and we drove around and we had plans to like go out to dinner, but 
I was sick, so we just ordered in Chinese food and ate, and it was really cute. My voice also sounds really bad because I don't know what happened. I just sound like a man right now, but was karaoke not fun? No. <laughs> no. They, like, the bar that we go to, I'm 5'6", the bar that we go to, I guess they bought, like, the building next to it, and so that's what they rented out for, for our for first date. Well, like, we were talking before that. That wasn't, that, I would consider that, like, my first date, like, somebody, like, doing something for me. But, yeah. And we drove around, and he ordered roses to my house. He did really good. He did really, really good. <laughs> um... I was saying, oh yeah, karaoke. It was like a bunch of small tables and like projector and it was like really weird. Um, I don't know. And it wasn't like fun karaoke where people are like drunk singing. It was like genuine karaoke. Like not, like you couldn't like sing along or like laugh and like whatever. And there was like nobody there. So it was kind of a weird vibe. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the. I don't know how to pronounce it. Thank you for the big love. I don't know what any of these things are, but. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Top green flag. I don't know, I'm really bad at reading. The, the red flags go, yeah, the men are creeps on here. I wanna, I'm wanna. i gonna follow you. How do I follow you? Stephanie. Cause you seem cool. 21st birthday ideas. I don't know because my 21st birthday is on a Monday and the weekend after is, I feel like I don't know if I should be saying my birthday, but it kind of just falls at a bad time. So I don't know what I'm doing for my 21st yet. Men are being creeps on here, obviously. But I don't know what I'm going to do for my 21st. Do you have any other accounts on here? No, this is my only account. What's your dream job when you were younger and how did it change what you do now? My dream job was actually what I do now. So, I mean, I never, like, you know when you're little and you're like, oh, I want to be an astronaut or a doctor. I've never dreamed that far. I mean, maybe it was a bad idea, but never dreamed that far. I always wanted to do makeup and hair, and that's what I do now. So, and I always want to do something on social media. Obviously not when I was really little because that wasn't a thing, but, like, growing up I wanted to. Um, I went to Las Vegas for mine and had drinks with my dad and